visions of a horseback people, the complex of Koguryo tombs. The ancient Korean dynasty of Koguryo was founded in the 1st century BC and lasted for nearly 700 years. Many mural tombs registered as World Heritage Sites lie around Pyongyang. This Anak tomb number 3 has a remarkable diversity of murals. The person depicted on the west wall is the master of the tomb. He is said to be a king who reigned during the mid-4th century. The room is covered in wall paintings. The image behind the red post is of a kitchen. Looking at the mural conveys an idea of how these people lived their lives. The master is heading a large parade. 250 people are following him. Koguryo people believed in the soul's immortality and wished their same life to continue after death. This is said to explain why so many details of daily life are painted inside their tombs. This is a castle left by the Koguryo. They constantly fought off Chinese attack and reigned over Northeast Asia. Two murals provide us with important clues about the lives of the mysterious Koguryo people. This grave was made for General Chun, a powerful commander. Here there is a scene of cavalry departing to the front. Superior military force expanded their empire. The Kuguryo were able to create a unique culture of their own. Here mounted charges are firing at targets while galloping on horseback. This could be the origin of Yabusame, a Japanese traditional ceremonial art. This woman is wearing a red and blue garment which closely resembles a mural of a garment depicted in a Takamatsu tomb in Japan. It reflects a strong tie between Japan and Koguryo in those days. Koguryo fell after an attack by the allied forces of Tang and Schiller in the 7th century. Through these images, however, we can still learn about the culture and imagine the lives of these people today.